All right, we're going to make one of these right here. So, uh, although we're going to call it uh, AN for Animate Logo FL, okay? And uh, you can see that it's got four icons that represent you. And it's going to shape tween to your name and pause and shape tween back to those four icons and pause, okay? And it, so it's an animated GIF. All right, let's get started. So I'm going to go to File New, and we want Action Script 3.0. Click OK, and I'm going to set the. Uh, I want to change the size of the stage. It's right over here. It's 550 pixels wide and 400 tall. Let's make it 200 tall, so it looks more like a strip. So 550 by 200. Do this first before you do anything else. Get the size right. Okay. Now we're going to go to the shape tools. I'm going to turn stroke off so that it's easy to click and move these icons around to get them spaced out right without having to also include the stroke. These are kind of separate, separate objects. So uh, set my background my fill color that I want and to come out and I'm on the so I'm on the rectangle tool okay I'm on the rectangle tool all right so I'm gonna come up here and I click hold and drag so here's my first artboard where I'm going to draw my icon or icons so I'm just going to select it with the selection tool after I draw it Okay, so I see the dots indicating it's selected. And I'm going to hold the Option key down. And as I hold the Option key down, I'm going to click on my rectangle. I'm going to drag it to the right, and I'm going to release the mouse. And I'm going to keep that Option key held down. Click again, hold, drag to the right, and release the mouse. Still holding the option key, click, drag, move to the right. And now I can let go of everything. Uh, now I need to go ahead and space these evenly. So I'm just clicking and dragging until I can see that I'm pretty close with gaps about the same size in between each one. Right about there it looks okay. So I'm looking at the border gap all the way around and then the gaps in between as well. All right. So I'm using this these as, as artboards for my icons. All right. And I'm going to now take time and thought and use the brush tool. So I'm going to click on the brush tool and set my colors. Oh, I can see I've got a problem here. I've got to click out. I'm going to click somewhere in the gray area around my stage just to deselect. And then I'm going to go back to that brush tool and decide what color I want to paint with. Okay. What color I want to paint with. All right, and after I spend the right amount of time, you know, a good amount of time, and create four icons that represent you, I should wind up with something that might look like this. Uh, I've got uh, an image of somebody surfing, got my favorite food, hamburger. Uh, I like media and I wanted to do this quickly so I just I didn't try anything that was media I just wrote it out I want you to do more artwork though and I like to travel with my family so I made a plane and picture of my family okay uh, so when I say I'm done so I went from here Right, I went from here to here, 
But now I'm ready to get to the next step. The next step is to extend this animation out to frame 25. And I want to copy what I've got here. So F6 copies that. <clears throat> and now I want to pause for 25 frames. I'm going to go to frame 50. And, oh, that was my pause. So no, I'm going to go to frame 50 and I'm going to hit F7. Because here is where I want to do uh, my shape tween to my name. So I'm going to now use the type tool and find a font I want to use. All right, so you've got all these fonts loaded on your computer you can select from. Try to remember the one you used for your logo. Use that same one if you want, okay? Got a lot here. I'm gonna click one. And just like you did with the text on the previous assignment, just click and write your name. First, space, last name. And then click on the selection tool. Looks like I gotta change the color of my text too. Click on the selection tool and then click on, on Q and go ahead and spread it out to the full width, full width of your stage area. Okay, center it left to right, top to bottom. Make sure it's readable, make sure it looks good. Uh, and then of course I need to turn this into a shape. So I have to hit Command B twice. I select it, then hit Command B twice. Okay, make sure it's selected. I'm gonna show you that again. Make sure that you select it and then by clicking on it and then click Command B twice. All right, so between frame 25 and frame 50, I can now right click and go up here and create shape tween. All right, goes back to here. All right, now I'm gonna go out to frame 75 and I'm gonna hit F6 to copy that, give the viewer a chance to read it. Uh, and now I want it to shape tween back to the very first frame artwork. So I'm going to do something that I haven't shown you guys before, and that's to copy and paste a frame instead of using F6. So I'm going to go to frame 100, click there, and I'm going to go over here and right click over frame 1. And then I'm going to go up here and left click on copy frame. So again, I'm right clicking on frame one right above it. See? And then I'm left clicking on copy frame. Now I'm going to go to frame 100 and I'm going to right click on frame 100. And I'm going to left click on paste frame. <clears throat> okay. Go out to there. You can see. And now I can right click in between and do my shape tween. This will make it smoothly transition between the two, the icons and the text. So now let me do a command return to look at that. And there we go. Kind of fast. Maybe too fast. So I'm going to slow it down. Uh, Uh, I'm going to slow it down here, so find my properties, get back to your properties screen here. If you don't see your properties, make sure you kind of click on part of the stage, the white part of the background there, and it should bring you back to your prop properties, your animation properties, file properties. So the frames per second FPS, 
I'm going to make it 12. Slow it down. Click out. Click somewhere in the gray area. And now let me do a command enter. Command return. That's better. Slow down. I like that. All right. So that call that done. And now I'm going to go. Sorry about these errors I'm getting here. You don't get that. I'm going to go up here and file, save as, and I'm saving this as AN logo FL in my documents folder. Click save. Replace if you've done one already, like I have. And I also want to file, export, animated gift, or GIF. <laughs> File, export, export, animated GIF. And from here, I'm going to make sure transparency is left blank. No check by transparency. Um, double check, 550 by 200. And that looks good. Make sure it's a GIF, animated GIF. And go ahead and click Save. And make sure it's AN logo FL. It'll be an animated GIF. Click Save in your Documents folder. And now you're going to go log in to Web Starts. And I want you to actually upload this and put this on your home page. Okay, I want it on the home page. So you see, this is Sheila's home page. Got your logo, it's got a picture of you. And then right below it, that's where I want you to put this. And you don't have to label it. Since it's on your home page, you don't have to label it. Okay. So I should see something like that. Let's take a look at another one real quick. So here's Danielle. It's perfect. Okay. So this is what I want. Picture or logo. Picture or logo. And then your animated logo. Okay. All right. Good job.